You've set up your Xero account, you're getting familiar with it, and now you're ready to issue your first sales invoice. Let's head into Xero and I'll take you through the steps that you need to go through before you're ready to produce and issue your first sales invoice. Okay, here's what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to look at your business information. Then we're going to look at your company financials. We're going to take a look at your invoice settings, how your invoice is going to look and the information that needs to be included on it. And that will include details of payment. Then we will look at email settings, the standard wording that you will use when you email your invoice to your client. So let's get started. Okay, we're on the Xero dashboard and the first place we're going to go to is over to the left to your business name and we're going to choose settings. Then we're going to go to organization settings and what you're going to do here is you're just going to double check that your business information is in here. So we've got our business name and we have got our address. We've got a postal address, 25 Sunny Street, Jolly Town, and we've also got the postcode. So we're happy that that's what needs to be there. Then we're going to go to the accounting menu. We're going to go to advanced and we're going over to the right and we're going to select financial settings. And here we're checking that our VAT information is correct. We need the VAT scheme to be correct, but for issuing a sales invoice, you need to make sure that your VAT number is in zero. Your correct VAT number that has to appear on your sales invoice is in here under your financial settings. Then we're going to go back to the business name on the left, back to settings, and this time we're going to head to the right and we're going to choose invoice settings. And this is where you design the layout of your invoice. You can have more than one layout, but we're only going to look at one and it's going to be called standard. We go over to options, we click on the drop down, and we choose edit. And what we're doing here is we're looking at what we want included on our invoice. So at the start, there's not much flexibility. We're just going to leave this. We've got the page size, which is A4 for the UK. We've got the font and we've got the font size. What I am going to do, I'm going to change the invoice title. I don't like it saying tax invoice. So I'm going to change that so it says sales invoice. We're also going to look at what appears on our sales invoice. Now you can play around with this. You can look at an invoice on the screen and if you're not happy with the layout, you can come back here. So what I usually do is I remove this tick here, show a payment advice cutaway. I don't find that that is required. My customers are going to pay me by bank transfer or by online payments. So I'm not going to need this payment advice cut away on the bottom of my invoice. So I'm going to untick that. I'm going to look through the other information that's included. And on the terms section, I've got the bank account details so that we can definitely get paid. The company name and address is pulled through so we would expect that to be Correct. Once we're happy, we would just save the layout. We can also see that our logo is there. If it wasn't there, you would go to change logo or update logo, and then you would browse, find your logo and upload it to zero. So that is your invoice layout. You can also go to default settings here and an invoice prefix. So your sales invoices are going to start with INV and the next number is going to be 46. You can change that if you need to. Sales invoice defaults you can also add. So if your sales invoices are usually due for payment 14 days after the invoice date, you can select that here and that will be the default for every sales invoice. You can overwrite it but that will be the default when you create your sales invoice. I made a change, so I will save. And that's my sales invoice layout done. The final place I'm going to go is back to my business name, back to settings. And this time I'm going to choose email settings. I'm going to templates and I'm going to say edit. And I'm looking for my sales invoice template. It's called basic. I'm going to select it. 
and I'm going to look at the wording that's going to appear as a default on the email when I send an invoice to my customer. So I'll just look through it and see if I think I'm happy. So the email is going to say, here's your invoice followed by, and this is a placeholder, so it's picking up the invoice number. So it's going to say invoice one, two, three from Happy Housewares for, and it'll be the name of my customer. Then it's going to say, hi, contact name, here's your invoice for, currency symbol followed by the amount. The amount outstanding is due on a certain date. You can view and pay your bill online here. If you have any questions, please let us know. So you can look at that wording, personalize it to what you want your email to say when your invoice is going to your customer. And then once you've made the changes and you're happy, you can go and save. So that is what I suggest that you do before you ever think about creating and sending your first sales invoice. If you liked the video, please let me know that you liked it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions, any comments, put them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.